Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this elegant text reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's try to create a new composition and we will name it as main animation width is 1920 height 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we don't want much more duration. So I'm going to choose 10 second long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title section. Now first we will do uh, that we will create our background. So this time I'm going to select my rectangle selection tool but this time i'm going to choose round and rectangle like this and i'm going to create one rectangle like this make sure uh, sure to hold shift whenever you are going to create this rectangle after creating rectangle select this shape then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now after that go inside this rectangle one go to rectangle path one and over here you will get this roundness option let's make this roundness 200 like this so we'll get perfect circle over here now after that you will get this option called size over here all you need to do simply go at the start unlink this chain like this and create one keyframe okay after that hit u so as you guys can see we can see keyframes hit u again so deselect it now select this press v for selection tool and let's move this circle over here like this and hit u again like this and go to around one second and this time i'm going to increase the scale somewhere around like this after that select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it press v let's move this over here and this time press s for scaling option and let's scale it somewhere around like this and hit u so you can see this keyframe and let's try to increase the size of it again select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it press v this time i'm going to move this one over here i'll press s for scaling option i'll scale its size again like this and hit u and let's increase the size over here select this hit ctrl d again press v and let's move this over here press s and let's scale the size somewhere around like this hit u and let's decrease the size somewhere around over here and let's change the position of this one over here this one over here and this one over here i'll select this one i'll press s and i'll increase the size little bit like this and hit u u okay let's select this one again and hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top and over here i'm going to change the color of this one to yellow one okay like this and i'm gonna move this over here then i'll press s for scaling option i'll scale it somewhere around like this then hit u and we will increase the size somewhere around over here and let's move this over here like this okay now we will select all of these keyframes and we will move this over here now after that press p for position and we will create one keyframe over here let's go to the start and this time i'm gonna select this one i'll bring this downward by holding shift i'll select this one i'll bring this downwards i'll select this one i'll bring this upward i'll select this one uh, I'll bring this over here. I'll select this one and let's change the position to upward. Okay, so if you see this animation, we will get something like this and then something like this. Now, after that, what we need to do over here, uh, hit U uh, and let's select all of these keyframes and we will hit F9. Then we will go to the graph editor. Then we will select this graph by holding shift. I'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here somewhere around like this so if i hit play i'll get something like this okay let's hit f9 again uh, to remove that uh, graph uh, stuff let's select this graph by holding shift login i'll move this over here and move this over here so we will get something like this so we will get this position animation as smoothness again okay now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press P for position only. I'll select those keyframes and I'll move this somewhere around over here. 
okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this let's move this to around 1.15 frames and let's see like this okay now let's go over here and i'll hit page down button one time to move this uh, uh, time indicator over here and i'll create one keyframe at position and by holding control i'm gonna click on it so uh, it will remove the ease in ease out effect on it then i'll go to somewhere around let's say eight second maybe then i'll select this one i'll move this over here i'll select this one i'll move this over here or let's say move this one over here this one also over here this one should be here and this one should be here so uh, over here we will get this kind of animation and if you want then you can change the duration of this one by changing the positions of this ones so we will get something like this if you want let's select this one let's go over here and we will try to move this over here okay so if i see this animation now first i'll get this then i'll get this now uh, our animation portion of this one is done now we have to change some colors over here so i'll select this one let's go over here and make sure to choose light colors only we don't want much more extra uh, dark color i'm going to choose lighter version of each and every color okay so this is my color combinations you can choose whatever color you want i am not pretty much good with colors so let's select this now after that right click go to the layer styles and i'm going to choose bevel emboss over here let's go inside this bevel emboss and i'm going to increase the softness totally up to 16 and let's increase the size also and a shadow opacity i'm going to choose 10 like this and over here also let's make this opacity up to 20 let's say not 20 but let's say 50 okay so i'll get something like this now i'll so select this layer styles and i'll hit ctrl c to copy let's select all of these layers and hit ctrl v so we will get the same results like this now let's select uh, this layer suppose and go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect on it double click to apply increase the distance to 20 percent softness i'm going to choose 200 like this opacity i'm going to choose 20 like this so we will get this kind of shadow and for the color i am going to choose bluish color only or let's say somewhere around over here now select this drop shadow and hit ctrl c to copy now select all the remaining layers and simply hit ctrl v to paste it so we will get this kind of stuff so if we see this animation from the start we will get something like this okay now what we need to do we will let's go to the file or let's go hit page down button two times select this and move this over here so we will adjust them like this and if we see this animation we will get a randomized animation of this ones it will take a little bit time to load in full revolution okay so shape uh, animation portion is done now we now we need to deal with the text so for the text i'm going to select my text tool i'll choose poppins version of uh, bold version of poppins and the distance between alphabets let's make it minus 60 and you can type whatever text you want i'm going to type motion let's select this text then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and we will scale it somewhere around like this and instead of motion let's type creative or let's say type cool we don't want much more text okay let's select this text press s for scaling option and we will scale it somewhere around like this okay uh, and we, as you guys know that we have one with the yellow one and we will bring this layer at the top so we will get this overlay over here uh, and for the color i think we should uh, go with somewhere around like this maybe okay let's select this color hit ctrl d to duplicate it 
or uh, let's not do that uh, right now first of all we need to animate this text also so select any layers of this shape and go inside this select this layer styles and hit ctrl c select this text and hit ctrl v also over here select this text uh, i mean this shape copy this drop shadow hit ctrl c select this hit ctrl v so we'll get the drop shadow over here also okay so we will get something like this so let's choose quarter resolution select this text uh, go inside this animate and go to the position and let's move this downwards go to the range selector let's create one keyframe over here go to around 1.15 frames and let's make this 100 like this select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift to move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now after that we need to add another uh, properties let's go to the add menu go to the properties first of all we will choose let's say tracking and we will increase the tracking somewhere around like this then go to the add choose property and select scale and we will decrease the scale go to the add property and i'm going to choose blur and we will increase the blurriness until it vanishes like this like this let's make this 50 and now if i see this animation i'll get something like this if you want then you can change the keyframe duration so we'll get something like this and if you want then you can select this graph and adjust this handles like this so if you see this we will get this kind of animation over here select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's bring this at the bottom press s for scaling option and increase the scale somewhere around like this and this time i am going to delete this fill and for the stroke i am going to choose with the help of this pick up this color like this and stroke width i am going to choose 0.1 or let's say even less than that like this okay let's make this full resolution like this and if you, so you can select this somewhere around like this and let's make quarter resolution so we will get this kind of animation and let's select this and bring this at the top and let's try to choose the white color over here so we will get something like this now select this text press s for scaling option let's create one keyframe at the start go to the end maybe and let's try to scale it down a little bit so we will get something like this okay uh, and after all of this right click new and we will create one null object select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null select this null press s and let's scale it down a little bit like this first we will get this animation let's create one keyframe and let's go somewhere around over here and let's make this 105 select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here okay so if you hit play now we will get this and then this let's move this over here or over here let's select this and let's go inside this graph select this move this one over here select this and move this one over here okay let's go to six second and we will hit end so this is how we will get this kind of elegant text animation inside of after effects so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then stay tuned.